What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Horror Icon Mashup. Yeah, the show where we take two of the best horror icons in horror history, and we would see who would win in a fight. Today, the two horror icons we're talking about are Pinhead from the Hellraiser franchise and Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Without further ado, let's get this icon mashup started. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> what time they vote? Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about their core strengths, their weaknesses, and ultimately who would just end, wind up winning a fight. Um, I, I have done a lot of research about this, and I was curious myself because you have two people who are pretty much like demons. One's from, you know, inflicts uh, torture from hell, which would be Pinhead, and one does nightmares, which is like, he's like a demon and stuff like that of some sort, which is Freddy. Um, so first we're going to start off with Freddy's strengths and weaknesses. First and foremost, Freddy's strengths. He's manipulated the dreams uh, so he can create your worst nightmare. The ability to kill you in your dreams, and this in turn kills you in real life. Cannot be killed in dreams. Uh, he can do anything to, uh, to you when you're asleep, and here are his weaknesses. Being dragged into the real world, Freddy's greatest disadvantage was that he cannot kill you unless you gave him enough gear to do so. so basically, he's only strong when he's in the dream world. Um, but when he's outside of the dream world, he's just um, his weaknesses include uh, burning, decapitation, holy water, no longer being afraid of him, and his mother. So, yeah, that's uh, quite, quite a list of stuff. We're going to go to uh, Pinhead's uh, supernatural abilities now, and he's got a ton of them, so here we go. Uh, he can summon uh, hooks and chains to manipulate victims, pencil control to direct chains and hooks at will. He's highly resistant to damage and direct assault. Example, resist gunshots and futuristic energy weapons, because I think in one of them they are, they are like, it's like a futuristic type of uh, like movie or something like that. Uh, his magic is used for creating objects out of thin air, teleporting, creating explosions at distances, and deceiving opponents with illusions. He is capable to creating other uh, Cenobites from both living and dead victims, and can physically warp reality if un unmerged with Elliot Spencer. And his weaknesses, in order to act in the physical world, he has to be summoned through the Lamiate configuration. Now that's the cube that they use in the movies, so basically his only weakness is he can be trapped in there, and you keep him trapped in there, he can't really do anything. But if you summon him, it's game over. The guy is literally unstoppable once you summon him. So, when it comes down to the two of them, it, it, it's kind of a tough battle because if you were to pull Pinhead into the dream world, I feel like he could still warp reality in there because you're inside Pinhead's head and uh, you're in Freddy's world as well. But I feel like since he has the power to warp reality, he can still mess with Freddy Krueger and stuff like that. Um, on top of that, he can summon the chains and hooks from hell and stuff like that and kind of rip Freddy apart, bring him out into the real world if he can warp reality, so says. On top of that, I don't really think Pinhead sleeps too, so it's kind of hard to get him in the dream world once that is done, because he's a demon from hell. Uh, so the final verdict of who I think would win, honestly, is Pinhead. While Freddy can rule you, uh, rule over you in the dream world, Pinhead is more powerful than Freddy, thus Pinhead would just put him through torture and bring him back to hell. That is my final verdict of as to who would win, um, and let's see what you guys saw. So it looks like the majority of you voted for Freddy Krueger to win over Pinhead. It looks like really no one really much voted for Pinhead, but it's okay. That's why we have fun with this, right? So that is going to do it for today's Horror Icon mashup. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will leave a poll on Twitter as to what the next Horror Icon mashup uh, should involve, which will be Samara from the Ring Saga or The Grudge. So... I will leave that in the uh, polls on Twitter. Go ahead and vote now as to who you think would win in a fight. Would it be Samara or would it be The Ring? We actually have that kind of movie. Japan made that movie and stuff like that, but I want to know what you guys would think. I will go do my research and talk to you of their weaknesses and strengths. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.